Welcome back, everyone. Well, Debbie, she nails it. She does, and we <laughs> caught her this time red-handed. Oh! <laughs> I just thought that was a brilliant one. I thought it was low-hanging fruit, but you know, it made Debbie laugh. So, and tell me why you are a red-handed, my so friend. Talking about I put, paint. I got paint all over my hands mm -hmm. and put a little extra on because I just wanted to show these we have at Home Depot. They're mm -hmm. called Grime Boss, and they're hand cleaning towels and for really anything. I've cleaned my steering, you know, stuff in the car. Yeah. It gets anything off of anything, really. One side is textured, as you can feel. Okay. And the other side is smooth. Nice. And um, it really, they just clean so well. You, they take the paint right off. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is impressive. It really, it, and this is red paint. Yeah. So this is not an easy feat. No. So I just wanted to show those, and these are great mm -hmm. to have around, whether you're painting yeah. or not. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is getting razor sharp lines. Hard to do. It's a, a feat not achieved by many. <laughs> so You've got all the tools though. Well, I, things I've never seen before. You know, we're talking about paint because there is a big paint sale at mm -hmm. Home Depot this weekend. And like we talked about before, there's $10 off a gallon and $40 off a five gallon. So if you're intending on painting, even in the near future, go grab your paint. And even if you don't know what color, we, you can buy the cans and bring it back and we can mix the colors okay. later on. Okay. So don't be afraid, get the discount. It's an online or mail-in rebate, but mm -hmm. online is really easy. Okay. So to get your razor sharp lines, oh. as you know, we have textured walls here yes, in Arizona, yes, yes. which really makes it hard to get a razor sharp line because even if you have the best yeah. tape possible, the paint gets there. inside the grooves and the crevices. So you can use your finger, a spoon, no matter what, you're still gonna get that rickety rackety edge. So what you're gonna do is you put your tape on, like so, and most times you're going to press it down and do whatever you can. But what we're gonna do is whatever wall you're painting, you wanna seal the edge of that tape with okay. something. Ooh. You can use clear paintable caulk, okay. will seal it, or this is the easiest thing. Whatever the wall that you're not painting the color is, you're going to seal the tape with that color. Because as you go Ooh. down the tape, it's gonna seep under okay. and be that color, and then it's going to seal the tape at the same time so you don't have an extra uh, anything. It's nice and smooth and mm -hmm. everything. So then after you do that, you're gonna let that dry. I have this one pre-painted. Mm -hmm. And just to make sure we see how great it works, I'm gonna use red paint. And you wanna always go a little lighter on the edges. So we're just going to, now this is the one that doesn't have it sealed. Okay. So we're gonna do both. Gonna do this and this. And then we're gonna peel off the tape and you're gonna see the difference. Well, we're hoping you're gonna see a difference or this. You're just kidding. I can't wait. You can't wait? Yeah. Just wanna make want sure to we have enough paint on here. Okay, so let's peel them off. You just pull it from the bottom. We gotta get the tape off. This is the one. That you sealed. That we sealed. Ooh, you can nice. see no problem there. And this one, you've oh. got that rickety rackety edge. So you can see here what a difference sealing the yeah. tape makes. Oh my God. Especially on textured walls. Okay. Especially when you're changing from a light color to a dark color, and that is so apparent. That is magic. That Debbie, is you're magic. the best. Thank you so much. You're welcome. That's great information. Thank you. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Happy Memorial Day weekend to you, and congratulations to my son Nick for graduating everything.